Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's time for episode 23, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. We've been making our way through the Citadel. We've uh, found a couple of nice shops, had a minor intervention, and uh, let's see what else we can do. Ooh, a map. Nice. Okay. And that's going to give us uh, another way to get from here to other places. That's the cantina. That we don't want to go in yet. All right, then what was this other door? Oh, is that also to the cantina? That is also to the cantina. Either way, that is not our objective at the moment. So, let's uh, keep on our way here. We got that, and... oh. That's probably where we need to go, because it looks like we don't have any other options over here. I can't force jump up there? That's not a thing? That feels like it should be a thing. Uh, are you also going to yammer on and on about prices? Okay. mercenaries are getting out of hand, and they're too much for the TSF to handle. We need okay. troops to restore order. The war is really inflating ah. prices here in the Outer Rim. Medical supplies are in short supply and high demand. Oh, okay, so that'll take me to the docks. I don't want to go to the docks just yet. I, I need my stuff. Zerka's mercenaries are getting out of hand and they're too much for Seriously, there's so many of you guys. We need Republic hey. troops to restore order. Ah, uh, fine. Um anything over this way? No? Okay. Where's the paperwork for my stuff? The TSF isn't cut out to handle all the problems on Citadel Station right now. We need mm -hmm. public assistance. Welcome to Entertainment Module 081's TSF Station. How <laughs> may I be of assistance? Uh, the lieutenant said to come here and get the Ebon Hawk and the rest of my stuff out of impound. I will call up the appropriate information now. One moment. Searching. One moment. I regret to inform you that the Ebon Hawk is gone. Um. The TSF believes it was stolen. And is Are you kidding me? What do you mean, gone? Do you have any idea where it is? Stolen? How is that even possible? Uh, what do you mean by gone? It seems the Ebon Hawk was transferred to Telos' service instead of an impound dock. However, both the requester and the point of delivery are unknown. In addition, no, not no. We're not laughing. This is not funny. I would conjecture that it has been stolen and the TSF records have been illegally accessed and modified. I knew it. That stupid T3 unit stole our ship. It's probably joyriding through the system right now, laughing at us. Are you, laughing nah. at me. That is unlikely. While your utility droid is not accounted for, numerous satellites track all incoming and outgoing vessels. There is no record of the Ebon Hawk leaving the system. Wait. You're saying the ship's actually somewhere on Telos surface? I don't understand. Telos atmosphere is highly corrosive outside the shielded restoration zones. Uh, Where else could someone land safely? I'm sorry. I'm afraid that's all the information I have for you. Hmm. Of course, the quarters and residential module OE2 will remain yours until the situation is resolved. Resolved, huh? Okay. All right. Uh <laughs> How about I wait here until you get me another ship? You know, before someone gets hurt, from a certain point of view. Uh, is there anything more that TSF can do? No, they resemble the TSA. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, what am I supposed to do now? Can I get my possessions back at least? Was there anything in the system about our ship? All right, let's ask about possessions first. Fortunately, your possessions were kept in the armory and were uncompromised. I will open the door for you so that you may retrieve them. You will find them in the security lockers. Seriously? I gotta search multiple lockers? Are you... Ah. Fine. Anything else about our ship? There was a query regarding the Ebon Hawk's ID signature sent from the Paragus mining facility. However, all data collected in response to the query has been deleted. It How is convenient. This information was removed when the vessel's transfer request was modified. Alright. So what am I supposed to do now? I am not qualified. Mm -hmm. You're not qualified. Period. From under TSF observation without considerable backing. If your well, at least you admit that part. There is a fair chance that the exchange possesses relevant information. 
I do not know what else to suggest beyond waiting in your quarters for further word. Yeah, okay. So what about the exchange? The exchange is a major intergalactic crime syndicate. They are trying to gain a foothold in the Citadel, most likely seeking to integrate themselves as fully as possible with the new Telos. It is rumored hmm. that the Bumani Exchange Corporation, located in residential module 082, is a front for the exchange on Citadel City. You don't say that the Exchange Corporation is a front for the exchange. This is subtlety, folks. Alright, um... Is there anything more the TSF can do? Well, at least it's free. Alright, I'll be going now. Only 50 XP? For that? I should have more XP just for the blood pressure spike alone. Alright. An energy shield. Are we really doing it this way? Alright. There's some of my stuff. There's some more of my stuff. And some more of my stuff. Okay. This is getting kind of tedious. I mean, was there seriously no other way to do this? Two items in the last locker. All right. Hey! Oh, this thing's going to blink at me until I click on every one of these stupid things, isn't it? All right, fine, fine, fine. These are not new items. I promise you. They, they were lovingly crafted, upgraded, and whatnot. Alright, uh... I kind of wish that there was a, a, a mark all as looked at button. I mean, I, I like that it does... I, I do like that it lets you know when you have new items and it highlights them for you. I, I kind of... What, Z? No, Z doesn't do anything. Believe me, I wish it did. Oh, you... Bum. Who made you moderator? Alright, let's equip some stuff, huh? Nope, that's not the button. That's the button. There we go. Alright, let's get that reflex package. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I think I wanted to keep... Yeah, I still wanted to keep the survey gear on. For now, at least. And was it the infiltrator gloves? That's right. The survival gloves went to discount Han Solo. Uh, yeah, I know I did. Don't remind me. Um, as much as I like the fortitude, I think I did that for the extra decks. And because I use computer use and security a lot. All right. And we're going to get the armband. And we're going to get... An energy shield, and we're going to get the uh, demolitions, because the fort save for a sentinel is pretty high already. And we were going to put a long sword, but I, yeah, I didn't think they were all the same. That one's 19 to 20, 20 to 20. Ooh. But they are all 2 to 13. Did I want this one? No, I wanted this one. And it was this one here that I absolutely wrecked the uh, critical threat range. Those... That one's got a lot more damage, but that one's got a nice crit threat. And I'll come back to the secondary weapons, because I want to say I had something for that. I feel like I botched something in the setup here. Alright. 
Let's get you. You had a reflex package. You did not have any headgear yet. Uh, the survival gloves went to... Uh, home skillet over there. And I think it was this because it gave the... port bump. I don't remember now. I kind of wish I had written that down or something. Let's get an energy shield going. Let's get a Mandalorian melee shield going. You had the stealth regulator. Oh yeah, <laughs> I was like, why is the left hand? Why is the left hand read it out? Oh yeah, because she doesn't have a left hand to use. Oops. Um. Then she had one of the long swords. And I think, it, yeah, it was this one here. And I think I gave her one of the pistols, but I'll, I'll come back to that in a minute. Let's get uh, Discount Han Solo here with his biotech implant. That gave him the regen one. Oh, the clothes. The armor. How did I forget the armor? All right, he's got the initiate's armor. There we go. And she's got the Jedi robe. All right, now back to him. All right, so he's got the implant. He also had the bump in will save. And he had the survival gloves. And he also got an energy shield and a melee shield. And he had... What well, these did he have? Defense bonus three, five, seven. Yeah, that had to have been it. Okay. And he had the cardio regulator. And it was the Republic Blaster. Because it wasn't the Plasma Torch. It wasn't any of the swords. The mining laser was one to eight, one to seven, one to eight. 3 to 10, 3 to 6, 1 to 6, 1 to 12. I don't remember getting a rifle, though. When did I pick up the rifle? All right. No, he had the, the Republic Blaster in one hand. And he had, was it the Field Survival? 3 to 6, where did the Disruptor? I think he had the Disruptor, because that one uh, went through a shields. And on the off chance, he got into melee, which we're in trouble if he did. 2 to 12, 2 to 13. That's right, he had the long sword. I don't remember where I got the extra Vibro sword from, though. All right, so that got all that squared away. Although, he has two weapons fighting, so there you go have another sword and I had a two of these pistols go to the droid that is not that we can't locate and I think he had two of the mining lasers one to eight one to seven one to eight three to six hmm uh, these are all balanced. Yeah, because I think the droid had the... Uh, one of the blaster pistols in the field survival. So I'll just take a... Mining laser. And I'll give her... A mining laser. And that leaves the two pistols that I'm pretty sure... Were on the droid. And that gets everybody back up to equipped. What are you what are you blinking at me for? I've seen everything. That's it. That's all of it. Alright. Let's double check. Alright, so Evan Hawk stolen. That's our upgrade on our stolen ship. We still gotta get the uh, replacement droid. And we gotta do something about the dancer. Um, till we're free to leave, and we need to find out about the false bateau who tried to 
uh, assassinate us. All right. There we go. Th this is looking a little more like a proper crew. Anything behind this door? Oh. You guys let just anybody walk here? I think I know how you got uh, hacked. Something I can help you with? Um, do you have any work I could do? How will you recover from the destruction? I'll be going. How will you I'll recover? Be with you. I just don't know. We desperately rely on the fuel to keep Citadel Station running. If we can't find a new fuel source soon, we'll be in bad shape. How bad? There's enough fuel in the reserves to keep Citadel Station from falling out of orbit. And for managing the restoration project, but not much more than that. Uh, can't the ref the Republic increase fueling? Only were that easy. The Republic's tight on credits right now, still recovering. The Republic's tight on credits. Sparing not just right now. Not enough. We relied almost completely on Paragus for our fuel. It's hard to make up for a planet's worth of fuel exports. Is there anything that Absolutely. can be done? Absolutely. We need to find a new fuel service, sign contracts, make agreements. Okay. A soldier like me is not good at that sort of thing. Uh, if I can help, I'd like to. You've got enough trouble, I think. <laughs> and this is all your fault anyway. Th this is not my fault. Look, it doesn't matter what I think. But sure, if you find someone with a load of fuel in their hand they'd like to sell to us, let me know. I'll be waiting. Yeah, yeah if I just happen to find somebody who happens to have fuel on their hands. Alright. Is there anything on the console? Uh, oh, no, I'm not going to hack into it with him standing right there next to me. That seems like a bad idea. Hey, this place looks familiar. I think I spent a little time in here. All right, uh, I think something he said something you. about bounties, too. Do you have any work I could do? Interested in helping us by bringing in some bounties? Um, are these... The light side righteous bounties, or are they the other kind of bounties? This isn't a bounty, so to speak. But we're ah. looking for a man named Batono who's been missing for some time. Also, two ruthless killers that we'd managed to capture and hold here in the TSF station escaped and are currently at large. We're Look, also I'm standing right here. Information about the imposter Batu Rem. All right, tell me about the first Batono guy. was the overseer of dock operations for Zerka and was assisting us in uncovering the elusive black market smuggling operation that appears to be operating at a Citadel station. A few weeks mm -hmm. ago, he suddenly disappeared and hasn't been heard from since. Mysteriously, huh? Okay. Uh, do you have any leads? Not much, other than what I've already told you, and the fact he was investigating Docking Bay 3. I spoke okay, to some go check out Docking Bay Docking 3. Bay, but they didn't seem like they wanted to cooperate with mm -hmm. the TSF officer. Maybe you'll have more luck. All right, I'll see what I can Thank dig up. You. Keep me updated. All right, what about what the other it? bounties? Uh, tell me about the criminals. They were spotted by security cameras in the docking area, and we quickly moved in to apprehend them. We captured mm -hmm. them shortly after you were placed under house arrest. Some sort of electrical malfunction, a side effect of the false Batu Rem's attack, enabled them to escape. They overpowered their guards and escaped into the citadel. Let me guess, they took my ship, didn't they? Uh, what do you know there about them? two of them, a Rhodian and a Deveronian. They're well-armed and obviously extremely dangerous. They haven't left the station as far as we know. Yeah, my ship hasn't left the station as far as you know. All right, All right I'll see what I can dig up. We've already lost two good officers to them. Wait, you couldn't lead with that one? All right. Let's talk about another bounty. And tell me about the false the assassin who tried to kill you, right? The real Batu Rem's one of us, and he's off the station on leave. I hope Batu's okay, though I'm expecting the worst. Shame. He was a good kid. Alright, is there any way to find out about the killer's yes, movements? We looked into it and found that he arrived via a tramp freighter in Docking Bay 3. Unfortunately, the cargo and passenger manifest as well as departure location was <laughs> not disclosed to us. That's all the information yeah. I have for you. You guys are a font of competence. If you find anything about the real Batu Rem, we'd like to know if he's safe. Alright. And that's about it. Alright, that gives me journal entries, some jobs to do, hopefully some money to make. Let's uh head back this way and see if we and Ooh. 
Do we do the cantina first? All right, let's uh, let's do the cantina first, and then we'll head over to the uh, to the docks. Actually, let's save our game first. That's a lot of stuff that just happened, and we finally got our stuff back. And we're also going to insert a cut and take a short break. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up live stream archives from some of my other stuff and various and sundry other videos because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a little value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.